Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're here today to talk about the Beverin Rabbit. I do enjoy talking about the different rabbit breeds because they're all quite adorable. Now, the Beverin is about 8 to 12 pounds once they're fully matured, so they're a medium-sized rabbit. They have really nice, soft, upright ears, and they have that rollback fur. Now, rollback fur is when you run your hand in the opposite direction of the hair growth, it'll slowly roll back into place. And their rollback fur is a little bit longer than you might expect. So it's like an inch and a half long or thereabouts. And though they're not truly a fiber rabbit, they do have a nice, long, luxurious coat. So the colors that they come in, there's actually a few. You can have black, blue, blue-eyed whites. You can have whites without blue eyes. You can have lilacs. You can have pointed Blue is the original color, and Arba, or the American Rabbit Breeders Association, only accepts the black, the blue, or the blue-eyed white. Not any white. They have to have blue eyes in order to compete. But they do come in other colors. The original color is that blue, and they were originally bred in that color because it is a beautiful, luxurious color. And they were originally bred for their fur. So they were all bred in one color so that you can stitch the hides together. Now, that doesn't mean they were just discarded otherwise. Obviously, they were also used as a meat rabbit, but primarily they were grown for their fur. Today, they're really not. They are more of a pet exhibition or even a meat breed these days. So they are originally from Belgium and they did spread rather quickly. Today, they're a rare breed, but they didn't used to be. They used to be literally everywhere. But today, it's not common to see them. Most of our rabbit shows, at least in my area, just do not have them. The Beverin is a type of rabbit you probably will see at a larger show, but if you are in a smaller, more rural area, there may not be any in your area at all, just because they are considered a rare breed. They are generally quite even-tempered. They're smart, they're clean, they're full of energy. They absolutely love to explore. So it's good either if they're your house rabbit, if they can explore the house, or if they're outside, they have large areas where they can kind of satisfy that need to kind of roam a little bit. I'm not saying they need your entire property to roam, but a larger pen is better for these guys. It keeps them happier. They do have large litters. Mamas tend to have like 10 plus babies at a time. And the mums make really good mothers. The does tend to be really docile, really good at raising their babies. So this is an easy breed to breed if you're interested. If you can find some good quality beverins, you can actually uh, breed these guys fairly easily because mama is a good mama and she has quite a few kits at a time. The babies also grow really fast. So where most of our rabbits could take, you know, good 16 weeks to kind of get up to weight. That's not even their full weight, but they look like they're more adult at four or five months. These guys will do it in like three where they'll look closer to being an adult. They just grow faster. They were bred to grow faster because the faster you're bred, the faster, the faster you grow, the faster you can be processed. So that fast growth has continued, even though they're not used as often for meat or fur rabbits anymore. But that fast growth is just a part of their genetic structure now. So they do grow faster than a lot of your other breeds, which means they go from baby to adult pretty quick. Now that doesn't mean they're ready to breed. Sometimes people think, oh, he grew fast, I can breed him earlier, but their reproductive tract still needs time to develop. So you will still be looking typically around, you know, six to eight months before you want to breed a female. Even if she looks like she's ready to breed, you still need to give her that time. For a medium-sized rabbit, I like to go with eight months just because it's better for the rabbit to wait a little bit. So definitely give your mama's a good chance to raise their babies and give those babies a good chance to grow up before then breeding them. Give everybody a little bit of time. Even though they look like they're ready, they may not be. So that is about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. See if there's any Beverins in your area and see if it's maybe a breed you take a liking to. We'll see you tomorrow.